Last month, my family and I went up to Wyoming for a little weekend getaway at Kindness Ranch. It is a sanctuary where animals are hosted in their transition from research, laboratory testing, veterinary training, to their forever retirement or civilian life, so to speak. As we were enjoying our stay there and uh, getting to know all the animals and facilities, we noticed a mare. She was hiding in a shady corner of a stall and she looked really afraid. Her hoofs were so overgrown and uh, she was evidently overweight. And I started asking myself what her story might be. She was in a horrific trailer accident on her way here and since has just been incredibly fearful of people and refuses to get anywhere near a horse trailer. Um, it was recommended at first that we just put her down because she was such a flight risk that they were afraid that she was going to injure herself trying to get away from people. And fortunately, that decision wasn't made. It says in her paperwork at the vet's office that her nickname was Crazy Eyes because she was always so scared. Her and the horse Hank were my motivation to terminate my entire ranch crew and get people here that would take care of the horses and farm animals with the same quality of care as our cats and dogs. That was a little over a year ago that I made that choice. And I've been doing most of the farm work since. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're waiting for the right people. I'm waiting for the right people. Haley's hooves needed immediate attention. And uh, for me, helping horses with trauma or in need is not only what I do, but also who I am. So I offered John my help. And we decided to come back the next weekend to assess Haley. I approached her really kindly and gently with uh, positive reinforcement based techniques that I have learned some time ago from Mustang Maddie and which have been an integral part of my work with horses since. The priority here was to halter train Haley vet prep her and ideally farrier prep her but the halter was definitely the first milestone of all that i really had to go nice and slow because she was terrified of everyone and everything but soon enough she started showing signs that actually she wanted to connect she would give kisses and in just a few sessions i was able to pet her all over her face and neck and sure enough, by the end of the first day of training, she was accepting a halter. Imagine after three years of being unhandled and terrified, in one day she lets me put a halter on her. I was so impressed by this girl's kindness and resiliency. She's really special. The next day I introduced the lead rope to Haley, and that went really smoothly and fast. And then I invited a friend to the space to act as a pretend vet. She was a complete stranger to Haley, but uh, Haley seemed available and eager to get to know her, and that really warmed my heart. Just last night was enough to actually make me tear up a little bit when I went to give her some hay after you guys all left. She uh, the fact that she gets excited to see people now instead of she was always the one that would run to the farthest corner of her area and watch inquisitively but not interact and the choice of interacting and presenting good body language as to what her intentions are is a night and day difference. Kanisha is a recently hired staff member at Kindness Ranch. I was able to show her a few of the techniques I used and she picked them up really, really quick. Not only, we were also able to speak about how to progress the training and take Haley to her next step. And in the following two weeks, uh, Kanisha kept working with her relentlessly every day and she would send me videos of her progress and I'd send her feedback. 
I was so so proud she had gotten Haley to the point where she could hold all four of her feet and uh, she could even have a complete stranger do the same. My favorite part of this uh, skills transfer to Kanisha was the very moment in which she realized that all of a sudden Haley was inviting the halter on and then happily wearing it. I, I don't know, I just feel in awe, basically. I feel complete awe. <laughs> She's, I, I don't know, I'm just so excited. <laughs> So back home at Wild Song Ranch in Longmont, Colorado, we are lucky enough to see Philip Himanka a lot. I asked for his advice regarding Haley's feet and uh, on top of reiterating how urgent a trim was to get Haley out of the great deal of pain that she probably was in, he suggested to have her x-rayed. We want to measure that distal distance because it's going to give you a parameter for next time to see if the lamin is reattaching or not. One of the challenges at Kindness Ranch is that it's so remote that some things cannot be organized with a very short notice. So their earliest vet appointment was going to be in early May and their trimmer was scheduled to come out in early June. So I put my brains together with Elizabeth Ricks, my business partner and founder of Hatha Equus, to see how we could help further. We decided to try and help Haley out sooner than that, and while at it, maybe give our support to a few more horses at Kindness Ranch. So we organized a last minute Hatha Equus expedition with all of our most advanced um, positive reinforcement students, and Philip invited one of his apprentices to join the crew. So here we were, this time in a real-time crunch, in which, in a weekend's time frame, we had to get the job done. So we checked in with Haley to see how much she remembered from her most recent training. And then as soon as York became available, uh, we worked on introducing her, her tools, and eventually trying to clip one of her front hoofs. Now there were a few challenges to this situation. First of all, Haley, however resilient and brilliant she is, was hardly keeping up with all that we were putting her through in such a short time. And given the fact that her hoofs were overgrown for such a long time, they had calloused inside and they were much harder than usual. So those short intervals of time would not allow York to apply the strength she needed to the clipping um, and build some momentum toward it. That's the moment where it became crystal clear that we had to sedate Haley. Elizabeth offered to step in and I was really grateful. As Haley was falling asleep, we soaked her feet in the hope that the water would soften them up for training and we also asked our student Matt to become our impromptu trimming helper but we still couldn't get any clipping done the hoofs were just too hard thankfully we could borrow two hand saws from kindness ranch and that's how the heart of the footwork actually started sedatives don't last forever so needless to say time was of the essence so this needed to be a three or four people job the whole time Two were sawing and one was clipping and then one was filing and one was sawing and we always had to have a Haley meditation master <laughs> humming to her or making sure that the room was as quiet and calm as possible. The thing about this type of sedative is that if you strike too sensitive of a nerve, so to speak, it can backfire and boost adrenaline as opposed to the more relaxing hormones which is why it was still so important to desensitize Haley and teach her to be okay with touch and her feet being handled despite her eventually having to be sedated. We finally reached the point where we couldn't trim any further so after all this training and two sedation sessions over two days and all this hard hoof work she was ready. Definitely keep trimming until her hoofs are in health and her immediate next step will be just releasing her to a bigger pasture. She's been in here for a long time now and alone. Wow. So now we'll release her out in pasture with a buddy so that she can live the life and use her hoofs and uh, 
Yeah. I have a friend. Yeah. I'm really excited for her. Oh. She leaped out with such a pretty trot. Who knew that it would even be available to her at the time? It was just heart melting to watch. Then she immediately walked up to John and for me that was the biggest thank you, I love you that she could ever have expressed. At the end we let Hank in and they integrated quickly and beautifully. And what else can I say? The the rest is a happily ever after sort of deal. Big yalla me voce a cominciare a cantare. 